Hello everyone, I'm Nikki of the Clouds. For today's video, I wanted to challenge myself in more ways than one. One of them being that I wanted to draw every day for 30 days, studying different pictures from Pinterest, which I did not do properly because my hand cannot keep up drawing every single day for 30 days. So really, I only did it for 5 days. The video in the background is the culmination of that and the fifth day where I decided to also draw my OC in the picture. The other challenge is that the voiceover for this video is completely unscripted. I'm just going off what I have in my head and editing and re-recording as I go along. So to start, let me just talk a little bit about the previous days and what I did and how I approached them. Uh, the very first day, I just kind of tried to do this as a warm-up before I start drawing all of my other work. So it was really fast-paced, I didn't really go into much detail when trying to replicate the picture. And also, I'm pretty sure that the photo I chose was not actually a photo, but another person's painting. But I'm not entirely certain, could have been a photo or a screenshot. As you can see, the picture is really really rough, there's not much detail or it doesn't even look that close to the <laughs> original photo. But I was still really proud, especially of the colors. And actually, speaking of colors, whenever I'm drawing these studies, I am challenging myself and my eyes on perception of the color in the photos. I'm not actually color picking the colors from the reference image, but I am just going to my color wheel and choosing the colors from there. So I'm actually quite proud of being able to reach this kind of color accuracy without color picking. Especially because sometimes I really aspire to draw traditionally, and in traditional art you can't really color pick from a reference, so you really have to mix everything together, and I think with this kind of practice I would do really good at that. For the second photo, I put a lot more work into it than the first one, and I really love how the shapes translate uh, compared to the original photo, that even though it's, everything is so rough, it still translates all of the shapes and colors and values really nicely. For the third day, because I am aspiring to do pixel art and pixel paintings, I decided to do this study in pixel, or like on a, on a really small canvas. As you might notice, you can see that the stone wall that the girl is sitting on is so much lighter than the original photo. And I, that's something I really have to work on. I'm not good at color referencing the background photo of the photos. I'm better at, you know, coloring people and humans. Which I still, I am especially proud of how the shoe turned out. The shoe looks so nice and shiny, the, the colors turned out so well. Last but not least, here's our fourth day, which is the last day I did before recording what you have on screen right now. For the fourth day, I once again went with pixel art. It was really fun working on a small canvas. It's much easier to get the values right. And I also challenge myself by using a brush that is not very painty. So I really have to choose the blendy colors as well. And I am really proud of how the values on this image turned out. I really love how the light reflected from the back adds so much depth into the composition on her skin and everything. And also the depth in her hair. So yeah, that's how my challenge started out. And fun fact, the amount of time it took me to do each study kind of grew exponentially. The first day it was about 10 minutes, the next day 20, and then 40, and finally the final study that you have in the background right now, it took an hour and 40 minutes. And I can just say it was really hard getting the skin tone right for this study. It's so gray and it has some saturation in certain places that I really struggled picking the right color. Because of course I'm using my eyes, not color picking. There's also a certain challenge in this uh, painting, which is the metallic surface that she's sitting on. It was kind of easy to draw the little rails in front of her, but the wall itself that she's sitting on was quite the challenge. I don't think I got it right. It it looks off even until now and honestly metal is just such a challenge and i don't know if i have it in me to really practice it drawing it realistically <laughs> i remember seeing tutorials in the past on how to paint realistic hair or realistic skin tones and they always started the process by doing like a, the darkest color first and then working with the highlights blocking in the shapes in the dark with a lighter color and I never really understood why they do that. Why do they start with a darker color? 
But after doing these studies, I finally understood it's much easier to start out with a dark color and then find the shapes that go over it rather than start with a lighter color and then draw in the shadows. And just easier to find how the shadows are supposed to look when you just block in the shapes of the things that are casting the shadows. I hope I'm making sense. In my head, it makes sense, especially after doing this challenge. But if you don't understand, I really recommend doing this challenge for yourself and see how that works out for you. The dress was a bit challenging for me, especially with the frills around her waist. I really couldn't find a good place for them. And especially because I was trying to draw, you know, the shadows by actually drawing them and not placing the shapes as I mentioned earlier. I still think it turned out pretty nicely. The colors could be brighter and a bit more on the pink side, but yeah. It was really fun to draw all the fluffy skirt though. It's really enjoyable to draw how the fabric just folds all over the place. And also when drawing the skirt, I noticed that there was a little frill laying down underneath her. When it came to drawing the hands, it was still also quite challenging, mostly because the anatomy was alright, but the colors, I could see the more saturated things, but I think my brain saw them as a bit too saturated when painting, so it didn't turn out as well. But I think if this was a more artistic rendition, I think it would look really nice. I am honestly really proud of how all the colors looked, and especially on the hand, the second hand. After I did the second hand that's holding the string to the balloons, I noticed that my anatomy was a bit off, the way the hand is should be a bit more forward so that the string of the balloons can go diagonally behind her head, so I had to readjust to that. After that, it was time for me to improvise on how to paint her hair and the little beret that she's wearing because I decided to draw myself or my persona in this picture. I thought the colors and the aesthetic really matches it and so that was a new challenge again. And once again, I started with a mid-tone, not really... It's quite different from my actual reference colors that are supposed to be, but I chose colors that match the colors and the vibe of the photo, which are a bit more darker and desaturated. And then I went in with a much darker shadow as well, so that you can see that the light is hitting from behind. For the beret, I really had to wing it and also bring in some of that bright light that you can see on the dress, but I'm not sure if I got the shape right. When drawing the ears, I really didn't have a reference for it. I was just going off of my memory of seeing various tutorials on how to draw <laughs> ears that have light shining behind them, which makes it really vibrant red color. And also the little cartilage in your ears becomes really dark with that shadow. <laughs> It was also a bit of a challenge to draw the yellowish, the bright yellow highlights in the hair because I wasn't sure what kind of color to approach it with so I decided to settle on the orange yellow bright shine from sunlight. The ribbons were a lot of fun to draw, following the shapes from the reference image and then coloring them in was so much fun. I really enjoyed drawing the ribbons and it was so easy too.
Then I had to go in and draw the face, which proved to be quite a challenge because I had to find a middle ground between my personal, more cartoony anime style and the realistic style of the rest of the picture. The eyes turned out quite nicely, but I do fix the color later on because it feels too dark and stark in contrast in comparison to the rest of the picture. Drawing the nose was especially difficult, because that's the one thing that gets simplified the most when it comes to anime art styles, and here doing it realistic was... I wasn't sure which way to go about it. The mouth was also quite the challenge, because I don't know, was it the shape of the face or the mouth, it just... everything just looked off and weird and elongated. So for the time being, I decided to leave the face alone and go and paint the balloons behind her, which was really fun, finding those colors. When I first saw the picture, I did not realize that there was a white shiny balloon right behind her head. I really had to work with a brighter white color when drawing the balloon. That's why it's important to have your background not as bright, not like a pure white color. But the balloons were more fun than challenging for this. The colors turned out pretty nicely, and it was really fun to draw the reflections between the balloons. And so that's how it turned out. I am quite proud of my progress from the very start to the end here, how much effort I put into it, and how much I improved in just doing this challenge for five days. I really wish I could put more time and effort into this, but I have tendonitis that flares up if I draw for too long, so I really had to cut the challenge short there. So yeah, please leave a like if you enjoyed the video, let me know in the comments if you'd like to see me doing any more art challenges, and subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified when I upload new videos. As I mentioned in the previous video, I will be releasing a new video every week for the entirety of March, and after that I will be releasing videos on a more monthly basis. I have a lot of ideas in store, and I hope you look forward for what's to come. Bye bye! Is the, the fifth... Ugh. I'm just going off of the and not um and not color picking. Please don't. And I I really love how the and that's it, but not <laughs> for the fourth day. I am really proud. Meh. I really love. Uh, why do I say "lao" instead of "love"? <laughs> and what it came to the nose was especially the and weird and alone. Well, the reflection uh, between the two balloons. Meh just the picture so yeah please live a lot and subscribe and hit not and i hope you enjoy what's it was really really proud of how they turn really really